I went to metal work. I was like, how difficult would it be to make a, like a nuclear bomb? He's like, pretty difficult. <laughs> I'm very interested in the human psyche. So I've made a whole lot of plaster sculptures that are quite inspired by witnessing people going through psychotic episodes in particular. There was one incident that I'd always wanted to make a bit of work about. So when I was really young in primary school and in the early part of secondary school, somebody quite close to me was having like a series of psychotic episodes. There was quite a lot of different things, but one aspect that really always stuck in my mind visually was when they thought that our dog was a weapon of mass destruction. So I've always had a sort of a funny mental image in my head of them walking a weapon of mass destruction down the street. I decided to recreate that kind of in the form of, roughly in the form of a, a B-61 nuclear missile, and I've got ears on it. For me, it's just a really funny thing. Whenever I'm making work, I always try and find a balance. If you're dealing with something that is quite dark, and you know, when you're getting into the unconscious, it is literally dark, you know, we can't really see it. Balance it with humor is just, it's a great way of dealing with things like that. I kind of knew it was going to be difficult. We kind of knew our bombs not that easy. It really distressed me out. The inside of the nuclear bomb was like about three or four sealed attempts, like entombed inside that. If I had any hair, I would actually have pulled it all out. Psychosis is one of those big scary words, but when you think of it as being a very similar phenomenon to a dream, we can all relate to that. The way dreams speak to us is the same way, it's symbolic, it doesn't speak English, it doesn't speak a language like that at all, it speaks it speak to us through symbols, and so the, the sculptures are, are heavily symbolic. <laughs>